in the car park for Boardwalk, you get a really good view of the Skyliner going right above your head and then it's going to head all the way down over to Epcot and there you can see Paris. From the main entrance here where you can drop off your car or get your taxi, we're going to head into the main foyer and check this out. We've got a lovely big sofa here, lovely flowers, lovely, lovely. Seeing is believing, wonderful. And just like Mary Poppins or Prince Charming Regal Carousel, we are greeted by these lovely horses. Imagine having this lighting in your lounge at home. Looks amazing, and it is amazing. And fitting in with the boardwalk theme, there's a carousel all under here. You know what? Underneath the giant horses. Reception desks are on the left, and heading over to the right, there is a nice little waiting area Maybe if there's a few of you staying here in different rooms, this is where you can all meet. But Boardwalk is absolutely beautiful. Just walking through opposite reception, it's just a really stunning place to hang out, maybe wait to see the rest of your family. Maybe you could meet here if you're staying in different rooms. And I do love, look at these funny chairs here and here. Let's go take a closer look. So this is one of two little girl chairs. And if we have a look on the wall, it says, little girl face chairs. These face chairs, or nanny chairs, were originally found on the 19th century European carousel. While children rode on the elaborately carved and moving animals, the adults were offered the still chairs to rest themselves between activities. Cast from the circa 1880 European originals, hand painted and gold leafed. So here is the first little girl face chair. And across the other side of the fireplace, here is the second. I don't know about you, but I find them a little bit creepy. And who knows, maybe this model was the inspiration for the Incredi Coaster at Disney's California Adventure. Just in one of the shops at Boardwalk, and you can get yourself hands on the H2O Plus beauty products that you get in the Disney hotel room. So maybe you can get these, take them home, and carry on with your holiday in your own bathroom. Once you've gone past the gift shop, you can look out the windows and get a glimpse of the outdoor pool. But we're going to head on down now and have a look at this in more detail. From the main reception, if you keep heading on down, you will find Dundee's Sundries, serving the boardwalk since 1902. It's a nice little gift shop. You can also get some snacks, baby food, everything you need if you're staying here and also some Disney Vacation Club gifts too. I did just get given these Mickey stickers in the gift shop, so you wanna to get to Boardwalk and go in there and get yourself some Mickey stickers. Just stepping out the front of the reception as well, looking out with a glimpse over to the Boardwalk area and the lake there. Absolutely love the atmosphere right here and I love these chairs too. Try the grey stuff, it's delicious. Don't believe me, ask the dishes. And heading outside now, toward the main boardwalk area, which loops all the way round. And I'll show you why. Boardwalk is just sensational. The atmosphere is astounding. So from Flying Fish, you can go past Abracadar, I don't, how do you say that? Abracadabra. Ab Abracadabra. Abracadabra. So from Flying Fish, heading round, you can go past Abracadabra. <laughs> Abracadabra? That's quite hard to say, but obviously it's a play on words with Agrabra. 
<laughs> Africa Dabra. I can't say that today. Uh, you have Trattoria Al Forno, lovely Italian restaurant. And then keep heading round. There is an amazing ice cream shop down there as well. You've got the Boardwalk Bakery. You have the Sports Bar ESPN. And have all of this beautiful lake coming round. Across the other sides, you've got Disney's Yacht and Beach Club. Keep coming round and you have the dance hall. In the background is the Swan and Dolphin. And you go past Dueling Pianos and then you get to the Boardwalk Hotel with a nice little pier where you can get a boat into Epcot. One of the best places to get ice cream is Ample Hills Creamery. And of course, I've already recommended Kilwins at Disney's Celebration. A close-up of the ESPN Sports Bar. That's gonna get pretty busy later tonight. And here's a closer look across the water over to Disney's Boardwalk, going past Jelly Rolls. Then you'll see the Swan and Dolphin Hotel in the background and the dance hall and then heading round to Disney's Yacht and Beach Club on the other side. And here are one of the boats that you can get that will take you from Epcot over to Boardwalk or back in the other direction. You can go from Boardwalk into Epcot and you'll be coming out just by the United Kingdom entrance which is also home to the new Skyliner. The beach over at Disney's Yacht and Beach Club is always looking pristine. But wait until you get to the end. There she is. You can get on the pirate ship and go down the water slide from the mast into your own pool at your resort. And look who's here. It's Rocky having a nut. So we're going to head on over into the World Showcase part of Epcot which will mean that we're entering right underneath the Skyliner on the left and you can see the yellow gondola there just hanging out, having a good time, checking out the views whilst they're still working on the new extended part of France which will soon be home to Remy's Ratatouille Adventure just before we head on through into the back entrance of World Showcase at Epcot, I did just want to let you know we actually parked at Boardwalk completely for free because we are visiting Boardwalk and then we will walk straight through into Epcot and we actually haven't paid the $25 parking fee that we would have paid if we had actually parked at Epcot in the first place. So that's a little tip for you as well. I don't know if you can do it all day. We've got here later on into the afternoon. We're going to have a mooch around World Showcase and we got it all for free parking. And right before the bag check here at Epcot, you can get a really good clear view of the construction work they are doing for Remy's Ratatouille Adventure at the France Pavilion. It's coming along nicely and it's due to open in the summer of 2020. So we've made it through. This is the temporary station for where you will scan your magic bands or show your tickets. And just behind the scrim here is where they are building the new section for scanning your tickets to come into Epcot from the side entrance. Okay, so as we come up the ramp, we have a decision to make. Do we go left towards the United Kingdom? Do we go right towards France? I think we're gonna go over to France and check for the construction updates this way. I don't know about you, but I think Disney did a really good job of getting the forced perspective 
of the Eiffel Tower and I am intrigued to see how that's going to look from the other side because we will get to go around the other side once Remy's Ratatouille ride is open and we will see a different view for the Eiffel Tower so I'm intrigued to see if the false perspective works from the other side as well that will be very interesting to see normally you can meet Aurora under this gazebo here however due to inclement weather Aurora is going to be welcoming guests in the lobby of Impressions de France yeah. which is straight up here so we're gonna go see if we can find Aurora and just to the left of where you would normally meet Aurora this will be the new entrance or the new walkway that will go around the back past the creperie towards Remy's Ratatouille adventure which will be at the back you can get some perfume here in the first shop so let's head into Impressions to France and meet Aurora We're probably not going to head down that way today, but down here you can go to the Boulangerie and here you can get some cheeky ice cream. 16 flavours, only 16, I wanted 32. So whilst we didn't get an official announcement of Brazil coming to Epcot, it is here, ready for the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival and it's between France and Morocco and just behind here is the show building for Ratatouille. And just behind the Belgium stand for the Food and Wine Festival, you can just make out the show building for Ratatouille. There it is in go away green, because we want it to go away and hide behind the trees. And it's almost worked, but I can still see it just there. Heading on into Morocco now, or as I like to call it, Agrabah, because I do feel like I'm on the set of Aladdin. But officially, this is Morocco, and normally somewhere near the back you can meet Princess Jasmine. I'm not sure about Aladdin, we'll go find out, but definitely Princess Jasmine is normally down here and to the right. Ah yes, here at Lamps of Wonder you can meet both Aladdin and Jasmine who are visiting Morocco.
Just on the left, on the way into Morocco, the Gallery of Art and History is currently under refurb. As it says, we are dreaming up a new adventure. Ooh, does this count as a hidden Mickey? I think it does. Heading into Japan next. Uh, I just wanted to show you my favorite, the teriyaki chicken bun. That looks absolutely delicious. You can get quite a bit of the Mario Brothers here in Japan. And also, there are a lot of Pokemon here too. Ooh, and I love the Hello Kitty section. That is super cute. At Akoya Pearls, you can get some custom picked jewelry. Let's have a look. There's such a good photo spot here from Japan with Spaceship Earth in the background. And I have to say, Disney have done a pretty good job at matching up the Gardens of the Galaxy show building with the colour of the sky. You can barely make it out. Obviously, there's just the bit on the left which is still open. But overall, I think your average guest might not see that straight away. Just next to Test Track. Well done, Disney. Hello, Donald Ducky. Waddling round in the park. Waddling round in Japan. I'm a duck and I'm waddling round in Japan. And it has just been announced over this weekend that the Guardians of the Galaxy ride will officially be called Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. They are just setting up the stage for America Gardens, the theatre by the shore, as we now reach the centre of World Showcase. So this is the American Adventure and the restaurant here on the left is currently under refurb. It's going to be coming back, I believe, as a barbecue grill restaurant. The next showing for the American Adventure is not until 6.45 at the Liberty Theatre here in America. So we're going to head on into the gift shop at Heritage Manor Gifts. Of course, with Illuminations Reflections of Earth soon to leave Epcot forever, you can get your hands on some farewell gifts. Ooh, I quite like this all-American cowboy hat. That's pretty cool. It's actually not too expensive. It's only $34.99. You can get your hands on an eagle which of course is the great symbol for America or perhaps this pretty cool all-American t-shirt. I absolutely love it. And I totally forgot to mention the best place to get funnel cake is this white hut 
just over here by America. Oh, it's gorgeous. Get yourself some funnel cake whenever you're here. If you fancy a giant turkey leg, get yourself to Fife and Drum Tavern. Okay, so I have no idea how this happened, but I seem to have gone from America to Italy and I picked up a Mickey Premium Bar on the way. How did this happen? I definitely didn't buy it. It wasn't me, I promise. I always think Italy possibly looks the prettiest out of all of the countries. The architecture here, especially this building on the left, is just exquisite. It's really, really beautiful and really well done. For one of the best pizzas you will ever taste, get yourselves to Via Napoli here in Italy. Or get your hands on some wine at Tutto Gusto Wine Cellar. You could even get a bottle. Heading into La Gemma Elegante. Wow. You know you're in Italy when Minnie Mouse is saying Ciao Bella! Ciao Bella! <laughs> Moving on from Italy, there is this space here which has heavily been rumoured to be Brazil However, at D23, the announcement was not made, so we still do not know if there will be something coming there soon, but we're heading over to Germany.
here in Germany, just want to show you a very well hidden Mickey up on the side where the knights are. If you look on the knight on the far left, the very top front of the crown, you will see a golden hidden Mickey. If you fancy dinner and a show, you can come to the Beer Garten restaurant for Oktoberfest. Lunch buffet and dinner buffet. If you have a sweet tooth like me, then definitely get inside the Caramel Kitchen here in Germany for lots of treats, all flavoured by Werther's Original. Look at all that Werther's Original. So we've left Germany and we are now at the outpost which is very familiar to Africa without being officially Africa it is the outpost but of course for food and wine festival that definitely says Africa of course Florida can get really hot so we did dash inside as we saw these fans that we first found in Harambe village at Disney's Animal Kingdom they're here at the outpost and the coverage you get from these fans is quite astounding so if you suffer from the humidity and you don't quite like the heat get yourself one of these fans and they cost $19.99 I think it's worth it Ooh, I was drawn over here because I saw the Nigerian meat pie and then I got distracted by the no worries panna cotta Ooh, and a savannah smoothie Just standing on the bridge by Adventurer's Outpost before we head over to China and if you look back toward Morocco you can clearly see the show building just behind which is the home to Remy's Ratatouille Adventure and some of the scaffolding work as they still are constructing over in the France Pavilion opening in summer 2020. Before we make it to China there is an Indian stand for the Food and Wine Festival but here we go home of Mulan, my all-time favourite Disney film. Sometimes Mulan is even in here. It might be a bit too late right now, she might not be in. But let's go check out China. Of course it wouldn't be China without the joy of tea. This is where the one of the shows normally is taking place on here. They're obviously having a break right now before they continue. 
And in this building straight ahead, we do have Reflections of China, which is a film in Circle Vision 360. It has just been announced at D23 that a new show called Wondrous China is on the way soon. Here in China, you can actually have a sneak peek for the inside of Shanghai Disney Resort, just through these doors. Shanghai Disney already has Tron Light Cycle Power Run. Of course, it's coming to Tomorrowland and Magic Kingdom very soon. Moving on from China, the landscape changes as we are fast approaching Norway, which is also home to the ever popular Frozen Ever After in Arendelle. You can get some princess character dining at Akashu's, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, probably not, which is the Royal Banquet Hall, princess storybook dining, right here in Norway. It's a 55 minute wait in the standby line for Frozen Ever After but I've come to one of my favourite spots for any fans of Maelstrom that used to be here everyone will know that right here is where the boat used to pop out before continuing on its way It's all enclosed now however Elaine?
and we're just going to head into Kringler, the bakery, and see if they still have the school bread that is absolutely delicious in here. Can we see the school bread? There it is. Number one, school bread, sweet roll filled with custard and dipped in coconut, $3.99. Look how cute these frozen mini cupcakes are. And you can also get Sven's apple cheesecake for $4.49. Or a springtime lemon cheesecake, that looks amazing. No trip to Norway is complete without getting the school bread. Covered in coconut and filled with custard. It's only a 25 minute wait if you want to meet Princess Anna and Princess Elsa here at the Royal Summer House. After Norway, the next country you will make it to is Mexico, but we're not going to film that one today because a few days ago we did go around Mexico. We also had dinner at La Cantina and we also went on the Grand Fiesta boat tour. So I will put a link to that video in the description box below and then you can check out Mexico for yourselves. There's some more merchandise in here to say farewell to Illuminations Reflections of Earth. Some light up here and I really like these t-shirts. I gotta see if they have it in my size. I just got excited because I did think I had found a set of magnets with all the Disney Park food on. However, I think these are just play toys. So I'm gonna keep looking for the magnets. I know you can get some larger ones individually but I was hoping to get a set. <laughs> yes, I do. You can buy the CD of Illuminations Reflection of Earth, Tapestry of Dreams here in Epcot before it goes away. It's $19.98 and it includes the Tapestry of Dreams Parade. I remember that one very well. After Mexico, we have made it to the center looking back towards Spaceship Earth and the new announcements have revealed this center section here will soon be known as World Celebration. Over to the right towards Test Track and Guardians of the Galaxy, this will be known as World Discovery. Going back through World Celebration to the left, this will be called World Nature. So they are three of the four neighborhoods when you combine that with World Showcase around here. That makes the total of four neighborhoods which will make up the new and improved Epcot. And so we've made it into our penultimate country. We are now at Canada. Before we head into Canada, we found our very own Canadian rabbit just hanging out by the lake at World Showcase Lagoon. First up in Canada on the right is Le Cellier, the steakhouse restaurant. You want to go in here, follow the path all the way through and you'll find your way in. But we are going to make our way up the steps into Canada this way, checking out the Northwest Mercantile. Going through to the trading post refreshments on the right. Oh, okay, yeah, no, we just need to see, like, this. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to have a 
is actually a red telephone box in Canada. I thought that was just a British thing. I'm obviously wrong. The theatre is closed here at the back of Canada and as you can see there is a lot of construction going on. This used to have all the rocks and the water would come all the way down here and now it's under scrim so I'll have to wait and come back again another time. And a cast member has just kindly told me that we're looking for a January opening for the film back here. So January 2020 and all of this will be back open. Moving on to our final country after Canada and for any fellow Brits, things might start to get a little bit familiar because we are heading over to the United Kingdom. And of course, this is soon to be home to the newly announced Cherry Tree Lane. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Mary Poppins is coming to the United Kingdom here at World Showcase in Epcot. Here on the left is the Rose and Crown pub, which certainly does look very familiar to me. This certainly looks like Hampton Court Palace to me, which is about a five minute bike ride from Mickey Mansion. And of course, a trip to the UK wouldn't be complete without a little stop off for some grub, for some Yorkshire County fish and chips. Get in. Fancy a spot of tea? Heading down Tudor Lane, past Sportsman Shop. Tally ho, over to the Crown and Crest. Lovely jubbly. Continuing on to Tudor Lane, we now head over to the Toy Soldier. And it's just been announced at D23 this weekend, this whole area will be transformed to Cherry Tree Lane to welcome Mary Poppins to the United Kingdom. You can normally meet Alice in Wonderland out here, just to the side of the UK before the bridge that heads over to France. We will have to have some tea and crumpets, won't we? You know you're in the UK when you can grab Fry's Turkish Delight. To celebrate the Royal Mail, we have a post box. And of course, you cannot make a trip to the UK without a picture with a red telephone box. You can meet Alice from Alice in Wonderland and Mary Poppins in the United Kingdom courtyard. Alice is going to be welcoming guests at the Toy Soldier, which is one of the shops here in the UK, due to the inclement weather. But they are both here. Oh, and now the show's just starting, where Cherry Tree Lane is soon to make an appearance. So we've made our way out of Epcot, back into Boardwalk, and I just wanted to show you the transformation of how this area really does change at night when all the lights come on and the atmosphere here is just astounding. Gonna head into Screen Door, the general store at Boardwalk. Oh my goodness me, look at all those Disney treats. Ooh, and I think I'm gonna buy a cheeky surprise present. It's these pajama bottoms with all the logos of the parks and the rides on. 
So all in all, that has been a very successful trip around Boardwalk and heading on into Epcot to have a look around World Showcase. As mentioned before, I will put a link into the Mexico Pavilion in the description box below, so do check that out. Other than that, that's bye from me, Wussy. We'll